Number 17, a car is propelled over an XY plane with acceleration components AX equals to 4 meters per square second and AY equals to minus 2 meters per square second. Its initial velocity has components V0X equals to 8 meters per second and V0Y equals to 12 meters per second. In unit vector notation, what is the velocity of the cart when it reaches its greatest Y coordinate? So the initial velocity in the y direction, v0y, is equal to 12 meters per second. So initially, the position in the y direction will increase because the velocity is positive, right? However, the acceleration in the y direction is negative, is minus 2 meters per square second. So as time, time passes, the velocity will decrease in the y direction. The car will go something like this. Let's say it is, this is the y direction the car is going in the y direction and then at some point it starts going in the opposite direction the negative dire direction and we know that this point oh, this point over here is the greatest y coordinate and we have to find when this happens when the car reaches this point over here but we can notice that at this point the velocity in the y direction is equal to zero since it it's going in the positive direction and then starts going in the negative direction. So when it changes from going forward to backwards, the, the velocity in the y direction is zero. We can use this equation over here, v equals to v0 plus at, because the acceleration is constant. So we can find when this happens using this equation over here. So let's write it down, vy equals to v0y plus ay times t. We want to find out t, so we can isolate it. So we will have vy minus voy over ay, and this is equal to 0, minus 12, over minus 2, and this is equal to 6 seconds. So, the greatest y coordinate happens when the clock marks 6 seconds. And we have to find in unit vector notation the velocity of the cart. The velocity in the y direction we, are, we already know because it's zero, right? So at this point, the velocity in the y direction is zero. We, all we have to do is find the velocity in the x direction. We can use this equation again. So the velocity in the x direction is equal to the initial velocity in the x direction plus the acceleration in the x direction times t. Now we want to find this velocity over here, because we already know t, it's 6, we just calculated it. So the velocity in the x direction is equal to the initial velocity in the x direction, which is 8, plus the acceleration, which is 4, times 6. And this is equal to 32 meters per second. So the final velocity at this point will be Vx equals to 32 meters per second and Vy equals to 0 meters per second. All we have to do now is write it in unit vector notation. So the final velocity will be 32 in the i direction plus 0, so you don't have to write the, the y velocity. So don't forget to include the unit meters per second. And this is the answer of this exercise.